Hello everybody, myself Dr. Ashok Kumar Pesurapur, Associate Professor, Department of Education, Karnataka State Akkamadevi Men's University, Vijaypur. Today we shall discuss about listening as uh, one of language skill, English language skill. As we know, LSRW, four skills are there. Among them, today we shall discuss about listening. Let us first see what is this listening. Listening is a receptive skill which means receiving language prevails producing it. Listening is the process of interpreting messages, interpreting what is said, producing messages or texts involves putting them into a form, using individual sounds, syllables, words which may be linked together, phrases, clauses, sentence and longer structures of a text. Meaning is added by intonation and word and sentence stress too. Now what are the sub-skills? Let us see. The listener has to be able to decode a lot of elements to get the message. Listen can be either active or passive. Listen to class description. Students are expected to respond appropriately. So ask the speakers to repeat what they said or to clarify what they have said. When listening is more passive, listeners are not expected to respond or semi-passive listening to a lecture. On the other hand, listening to a lecture can be accompanied by an active approach of listeners who ask for repetition, clarification or providing supportive or contradictory opinions. Now, what are the sub-skills in detail? Let us see. Number one, listening for gist. It is expensive listening for skimming. This happens when we listen to get a general idea about a topic. For example, listen to a summary of the days news on the red. Second point, listen for a specific information. This is when we listen to something because we want to discover our particular place of information. For example, listening the weather report to uh, discuss the weather in a particular city. Third point, listening in detail. It is the intensive listening for scanning. This is when we listen, we listen very closely, paying attention to all the words and trying to understand as much information as possible. For example, a member of a jury listening to a statement from a witness. Fourth point, listening for attitude. Fifth point, extensive listening. Sixth point, listening for individual sounds. Seventh point, exercises. So, like this, uh, the sub skills of uh, listening are there. Learners uh, listen in order to give full answer, give short answer, recognize true or false sentences. Till I, or else uh, to fill up gaps in a close passage, detect mistakes, choose, underline, and to summarize. Well, let us see what are the other listening sub skills. Number one, eliciting the meaning through understanding word formation and contextual clues in utterances and spoken text. Second point, recognizing phonological features of speech. Third point, understanding relationship between the syntactic and morphological characters of spoken language. Fourth point, understanding relation between the text and utterances through concise or uh, cohesive devices. Now, what is the importance of listening in English? Although the certainly 
centrality of listening is second i mean it's in, in uh, second and foreign language learning is well established today and an appropriate listening comprehension instruction is essential for target language competence which is uh, narrated by murphy in 2001 listening was one of the most neglected skill in second and foreign language classroom especially until late 1960 both researchers and language teachers paid more attention to reading and grammar and teaching listening teaching i mean that's a very important point we have to uh, consider for that attention to reading and grammar and teaching listening was not accepted as a significant value of language teaching this was stated by richard and rogers in 2001 field in 2008 stated that in the early days of english language teaching listening chiefly i mean uh, secured as a means of introducing new grammar through modal dialogues so this is uh, le- served as a uh, means of introducing new grammar through modal dialogues of all the main language skills listening is was uh, uh, it's a, it, it is a very important component to be remember it's very important of all the main language skills listening was the most influenced uh, one by those changing trends in 1970s listening with the more importance it has gained as a skill started to take place in language teaching program besides speaking reading and writing with the rise of communicative language teaching in the late 1970s teaching english for communication began to play a significant role all over the world and the importance of teaching listening increased in the 1990s with the increased attention to listening oral comprehension had a significant place in second and foreign language learning listening plays an important role in communication in people's daily lives as go and wills in 2006 state that it is the medium through which people gain a large proportion of their education their information their understanding of the world and human affairs listening has an important role not only in a daily life but also in classroom settings anderson and lynch in 2003 stated that we only become aware of what remarkable of listening we achieve when we are in an unfamiliar listening environment such as listening to a language in which we have limited proficiency most of people think that being able to write and speak in a second language means that they know the language but if they do not have the efficient listening skill it is not possible to communicate effectively that is listening is the basic skill in language learning and over 50% of the time that students spend functioning in a foreign language will be devoted to listening rost in 1994 explained the importance of listening in language classroom as follows number one listening is well in the language classroom because it provides a uh, very important input for the learner without understanding input at the right level any learning simply cannot begin spoken language provides a means of interaction for the learner because learners must interact to achieve understanding access to the speakers of the language is essential moreover learners fail to understand the language they hear i mean they what they experience is an impetus not an obstacle to interact and listening learning exercises i mean third point listening exercises provide teachers with a means for drawing 
learner's attention to new part in the language. Uh, that's what about uh, listening. Next is uh, approaches to develop oral and oral skill. Oral refers to the ear or hearing and oral to the mouth in speaking something that's very important expressed in the words. A child's first speak or listens before it can read or write contextual basic oral and oral skills. Uh, hope you got the information about this. Prior to listening to the recording, the child should provide, I mean, as a teacher, we should provide to the children with the necessary background knowledge as well as the new experiences or expressions that are relevant to the recording. For example, I mean, if you want to test the children's listening aspect before recording whatever you want to give information to the people, let the child to know about that. And if the recording concerns, uh, what do you say, uh, a sharp, concise and uh, very close to the information given by the child, a teacher should provide the students with the necessary experiences that uh, might be useful to them. In uh, Foreign language exams, the recording, listening, recording is heard twice. I mean, Cambridge Giant, which can English it should be. However, for classroom purposes, it can be heard up to three times. Although examinations, classes should only be allowed to him basic. In the case of oral skills, this cannot best be developed by interaction. Question and answer situations, group work, role play, and small speeches uh, contribute to the development of the students' oral skills. You should try to construct scenarios where the students can use the vocabulary that they have learnt, and the interactions should be structured, that is, the activities must be based on handouts are strict instruction. Example, pair up and use the town map to ask each other. That is also very uh, important. Finally, uh, the use of video films is highly recommended because it simultaneously furthers the development of both oral and oral skill. Now, the important aspect is uh, materials and resources for developing the listening skill. The study was designed to investigate the effects of the use of authentic materials in teaching, listening to the English uh, language learning students. The purpose was to find out whether students who got authentic materials in their listening uh, class would get a better result compared to those who did not. The population of this uh, the study which was conducted to know the listening aspect of the students was all the second semester students who took listening as a language. Then uh, the very important aspect is two classes were selected using random sampling as the samples. The experimental class with 25 students who look and uh, control class with 27 students. Data was collected quantitatively from the results of the pre test and the post test of listening skill, listening, while qualitative data was obtained from the questionnaire distributed at the end of teaching to identify the students' perception of the use of authentic material in the listening. Listening is probably the least explicit of the four language skills, making it the most difficult one to 
to learn. It is evident that children listen and respond to language before they learn to talk. Raja and Hashim in the 2013 assert that developing proficiency in listening comprehension is one key to achieve proficiency in speaking. So that is what uh, the listening skill. Hope you got the information about that. Have a nice time. Wear the mask. Have men uh, social distance to fight against this pandemic issue. Subscribe and press the bell button. Thank you. Thank you, Nomo. Thank you.